Does consuming camel meat uh, break the wudu physically? What's the logic behind it? This issue is an issue of dispute. The vast majority of scholars and schools of thought say that it does not invalidate, it does not break your wudu to eat camel's meat. Only the school of thought of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, the Hanbali school of thought, say that it breaks the wudu. And as you can see, there's a dispute among scholars. The majority say it doesn't. A school of thought say it does. What to do? Allah Azza wa said in the Quran, and when any one of you differ, whenever you dispute, refer it back to the Quran and to the Sunnah. So we go back to the Quran and to the Sunnah. The Quran does not say anything. The Sunnah, if we open the book of Sahih al-Imam Muslim, wow, Bukhari Muslim, Muslim is the most authentic book after the Quran. The Prophet was asked two questions. O Prophet of Allah, shall we perform wudu after eating, eating mutton meat? The Prophet said, if you wish, which means that it does not break your wudu. If you wish to renew your wudu, good. And mutton meat is not raw, it's cooked. Then he was asked again, O Prophet of Allah, shall we perform wudu after eating, eating camel's meat? And the Prophet said, yes. It's the same situation, two different questions, two different answers. So it is obvious to anyone who follows the Quran and Sunnah that camel's meat breaks your wudu. The question would be, why? The answer would be, none of your business. What do you mean, Sheikh? You're a slave, you're a servant of Allah. Allah tells you, do this, you say, yes. Don't do this. He said, yes, you have to comply. Allah is not obliged to tell you the justification one plus one equals two. And this is very important. Part of being a slave of Allah is to do no questions asked. Yes, Sheikh, but it has to be logical. No, it, has, it doesn't have to be. Beside, my logic is different than your logic. So how can we come to a common term? What do you mean, Sheikh? There are so many things that logic has nothing to do with. It's just simply showing and expressing your obedience to Allah Azza wa Jal. I'll give you an example. The gas I have in my stomach, if I burp, it doesn't nullify my wudu. But if it comes from my anus and I pass wind, it breaks my wudu. Why? Though it's the same gas coming from different exits. This is religion, Akhi. You have to believe in it. So the Prophet tells you, camel's meat breaks your wudu. End of story. No reasons to ask why. Give me the justification. Give me this or that. Because any justification would not be the right one unless it is backed by the Quran and the Sunnah, which we do not have.